All right, I'm going to do a video debunking Calvinism and their heresy of limited atonement. What limited atonement teaches is that Christ didn't die for everyone, he just died for the elect. And what they think the elect is, is that God chooses who gets saved and who doesn't get saved. So he, he creates you just to damn you to hell, essentially. It's a wicked false doctrine. There's so many verses that disprove this heresy of limited atonement, and they love to just selectively uh, pick scriptures to twist and take out of context to prove this heresy of limited atonement. So let's get right into it. There's so many verses I can use to debunk this, but I'm going to show you some of them right now. Acts chapter 10, verse 43. This is Acts 10, 43. Uh, to him give all the prophets witness that through his name, whosoever believeth in him shall, shall receive remission of sins. Huh. Whosoever believeth in him. That's Acts chapter 10, verse 43. Whosoever believeth in him shall receive the remission of sins. Exactly. Whosoever, you know, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. John chapter 1, verse 7. I mean, I, I get a chuckle from these Calvinists who, who love to twist scriptures so much and, and just, yeah, these, these cults like the Westboro Baptist Church who go around preaching their false gospel of Calvinism, and they worship John Calvin. They, they literally say that, you know, if you're not preaching John Calvin, then you're going to hell. Ridiculous. John chapter 1, verse 7. The same came for a witness to bear witness of the light that all men through him might believe. All men. Acts 13.39. And as Calvinists, they can't handle this, the scriptures. Acts 13.39. Where is it? By him, all that believe are justified from all things, from which he could not be justified by the law of Moses. Huh. All that believe. Uh, John 3.14-16. A really, really well-known passage. John chapter 3, verse 14-16. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Again, whosoever. You know, it's a free gift. You know, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord. That's a verse I'm going to show you later on. But again, all sin, you know, all men, whosoever. Calvinism is false. Christ died for everyone. He died for all men. Romans 10, 13. Here's a good one. Uh, again, proving that it's whosoever. Anyone can do it. Romans 10. God does not choose who gets saved. It's a false doctrine. Romans 10, 13. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Huh. If you jump down to verse 9, it says, If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe it in thy heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. You know, when you believe you're saved, not God choosing you to get saved. It's ridiculous. Uh, John chapter 11, verse 25 to 26. John chapter, oops, went to Acts. Oops, go back. I have a Bible app, that's what I use. John chapter 11, verse 25 to 26. You see, these, what the cults like the Westboro Baptist Church, they go around giving a, giving a stink to the name of Christ when they go around preaching the false gospel of Calvinism, and people wonder, like, why are they just so bitter and hateful? Well, because that's what Calvinism produces. Calvinism is essentially like Islam. It's like that. It's like they're just, just bitter and hater, hatred towards anyone who's not, you know, part of their cult, essentially. That's what it comes down to. Uh, John 11, 25, 26, that's why Westboro Baptist Church are just going around, you know, picketing funerals, you know, God hates, you know, fags, God loves dead soldiers and whatever. You know, they're, they're going out there and preaching a false gospel of Calvinism. And by the way, homosexuality is sin, no doubt about that. God does hate uh, the sin of homosexuality. It's disgusting, it's abominable, and it's pedophilic too. Um, don't, don't need to get into detail on that, but homosexuality is pedophilic and abominable in the sight of God. However, you know, they go around preaching this false gospel, and they're actually giving Christ a bad name, no doubt about that. That's what Calvinism produces. John 11, 25, 26. Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believest thou this? Again, whosoever. John 6, 40. John chapter 6, verse number 40. John chapter... Uh, oops, went the wrong verse. John chapter 6, verse 40. And this is the will of him that sent me, that everyone that seeth the Son and believeth on him may have everlasting life, and I will raise him up at the last day. Huh. Everyone which seeth the Son and believeth on him? Um, again, if God chooses who gets saved, why does it over and over again say you believe whosoever believeth? You know, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord. 
You know, Calvinism is a, a wicked heresy. It's a false doctrine. John chapter 6, verse 47. Uh, John chapter 6, verse number 47. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me hath everlasting life. It's belief. God doesn't choose you. You believe. And then you have everlasting life. You believe and you call upon the name of the Lord. Uh, 1 John chapter 2, verse 1 to 2. Another good one to use against the Catholics who say that Mary intercedes for us. The uh, wicked heresy of, of Roman Catholicism, uh, oh, Mary intercedes for us. No, Christ is our advocate before the Father, not Mary. Uh, 1 John chapter 2, verse 1 and 2. My little children, these things write, on, write I unto you, not good at reading, um, that you sin not, and if any man sin, we have an advocate with, with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. So Jesus Christ is our advocate. Flies in the face of the Catholic heresy of Mary being our advocate. And we look at verse 2. And he is a propitiation for our sins, but not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. Again, you know, for God to love the world, whosoever, you know, all men that believe. You know, so many verses disprove Calvinism. So, uh, these are just some of the many verses I could have gone to to just refute this wicked heresy of Calvinism. All it is is just Roman Catholicism repackaged. I mean, because Roman Catholics have the same attitude towards you know, what they call heretics, which are just anyone, any, any Christian, any real Christian who doesn't follow the pagan cult of Roman Catholicism. But uh, Calvinism is false. It is, it is wicked. It, it, it um, limits the sacrifice of Jesus Christ to saying, oh, he only paid for the sins of some people. You know, the god of Calvinism is like a dictator. He's like a communist, like a communistic dictator. You know, it's ridiculous. They make God out to be like Satan. So that's why I say Calvinism is satanic. Because God is turned into like the likeness, likeness of Satan. So don't be deceived by Calvinism. God bless you. Goodbye.